Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Today I'm going to do a review of the Jergens Natural Glow Foaming Daily Moisturizer. Um, this is the one that's for fair to medium skin tones. I've been using this for about a week and a half. Um, and I used the original formula, the one that's a lotion, for many years. And um, I thought it was okay. Like my biggest problem with it was always just that I found that it had an odor that I didn't like and that sometimes um, if I had put it on like in the morning, sometimes I found it would get on my clothes and stuff, like it would transfer. So I didn't like that. Um, so I saw this in the store and I decided to pick it up because it says it dries in seconds, which is very nice because the lotion you have to, it says you're supposed to wait a few minutes before you put your clothes on so it can soak in. So you're kind of like walking around your apartment in your underwear or in your robe like waiting for it to dry and it says it has no sunless tanner odor um I find that it does dry very fast um it's not lying when it says that it's you put it on and rub it in and it's pretty much done like you can put your clothes on um however I do find it has an odor um it's not as strong as the lotion but it still has that kind of I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like that coconut oil smell that you, like if you went like fake tanning and you have to put that lotion on to keep your tan going, it kind of smells like that. And I, I personally don't like that smell, so I, I don't like it. Um, so how I use this is I put it on at night before I go to bed and then in the, sh in the morning I shower and then it pretty much makes the smell go away. Like, I can smell it on myself a little bit, like it's very, 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 very faint. So, I mean, if someone was standing next to me or, you know, they wouldn't be able to smell it on me, but, you know, I can smell it if I hold my arm up to myself. But I don't smell it on my clothes after I shower, and it, it doesn't transfer onto my clothes. Um, it's a very natural color, so you probably can't tell because I'm so fair anyways. But, I mean, I definitely do have color, and... Um, what I've been doing, what I do to make this more effective is once or twice a week I exfoliate my whole body with just, um, like I buy that Boots exfoliating stuff, I don't know what it's called, um, but I just rub it all over my body and that gets rid of all the dead skin cells and I especially focus on like my feet and my knees and my elbows and any places that are generally more dry because you can always tell if someone hasn't exfoliated well when they're putting on fake tan because it's always like a lot darker around their elbow and it like sinks into the lines and it just looks really terrible because obviously you want your tan to look real and natural you just don't want to be in the sun getting like skin cancer so that's what I do and I also uh, moisturize in the morning after I shower I think I find moisturizing helps keep uh, fake tan looking natural because um, if your skin is dry it's just gonna flake more so I am happy with this. I like it a lot more than the lotion. And I like the color it gives me. I like that it dries really fast. So I can put it on at night right before I go to bed. And I can just, you know, put on my pajamas and jump into bed. And I don't have to worry about it. And, I mean, I I just, I don't think they should have this here. This no sunless tanner odor. Because I smell it. It has an odor. Like, this isn't, like, I, when I tried this, I was expecting it to have zero odor or zero fragrance. And, I mean, it definitely has a smell, so, like, false advertising jargons. I don't like that. But it's definitely not as strong as the original, and it, after I take a shower in the morning, it pretty much goes away, which, you know, is okay. I can live with that. So, if you're looking for a good fake tan, I would suggest this one. Um, so, obviously, I'm pretty pale, so I um, use the fair to medium skin tones, um, when it gets to be later on in the summer and I start to get more of a natural tan just from being outside more, I might move up to the medium to dark skin tone just to help keep my like tan going and so I look darker. I'll have to see. Um, but yeah, and I think the only other downfall I have with this, and this is with any fake tan too, I mean I've never found a fake tan that doesn't do this, but it kind of makes my hands a little orange. And it, like, it'll get, like, in my fingernails if I don't wash them really well. I mean, after I put this on, I always wash my hands really well with lots of soap just to try and get it off. But it always, I just find it always get, makes my hands kind of orange. You can't really tell right here, but it's, like, my hands are kind of orange. 
and if I, I have to like make sure I wash around my nails because otherwise it'll get like in the cuticles and make them look orange. But otherwise, I think this is a good product. And if you have any questions, def definitely let me know. And if you have a fake tan that you really like, um, that you think I should try, um, if you do, just make sure it's one that doesn't have much of a smell because I just cannot stand the smell. I can't stand the stink of this stuff. So make sure it's one that has either no smell or a very, very, very faint smell. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.